Somebody catch one real quick. There you go. It's easy, easy. Oh, that's a good one. You all know me. Know how I earn a living. Look at this. Tim's got a fluke on his first drop. I didn't even get it. You guys didn't even let me get hooked up yet. That's not, uh, doesn't count. That doesn't count. Should we get the net? Dude, that thing is, that thing is pounding pretty good. It's fluke though. Nice, Timo. All right, all right, all right. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Next Drift. On this episode, I've got my buddy Tim and the infamous Joey and we're staying local again, right out of Niana, Connecticut between Black Point and Hatchet's Reef. We're fluke fishing. I got a couple good reports from some buddies of mine that had uh, caught a couple big fish out here. So we wanted to give it a shot. We had a northeast wind. It really wasn't uh, perfect conditions, but we ended up catching a ton of fish. I thought what we would do in this video is kind of dissect the area we were fishing. I'll show you exactly where we were. I'll show you how we set up. I'll show you even how short our drifts were. And we got really dialed in on a school of fish that was sitting in about 76 feet of water. So as always, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the share button too. We need more subscribers. I don't know what this is. It's not even, it's not even pulling. Holy Moses, this feels heavy. What is this? I don't even know what this is. It feels like a log. I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what this is. Is it moving? Nope. It's a fluke. Hooked. It's a porgy. It's a fluke. A fluky. Weird, it's a fluke doing donuts. Bell. Hey, Joey. Well, you're a pro like I am. Get the harpoon! <laughs> Show that one on it. Chase Stay it with the boat. Right and the engine's on. I think you guys are paying the kid on the beach there to fucking look on your hooks. Uh, one to one to nothing. Was under one today. to one to nothing. Right. It doesn't matter. It's a oh, fluke. It so this is the area we were fishing in this video. Uh, we were between Black Point and Hatchet's Reef. You can see uh, the southern tip of Hatchet's Reef right here. Here's the red can. Uh, we had a northeast wind blowing in uh, first thing in the morning, and we caught the end of the outgoing tide. So uh, this was our uh, when we first came in, uh, we started uh, doing, this was our first drift here, um, and then we moved over here. Just those first couple set drifts uh, where we're looking to see which angle we're going to be drifting at, you know, kind of sets up the, uh, you know, the whole, the whole day. Uh, and all, most of the fish we were catching were right in this zone here, as you can see. So we did a few drifts. Um, I went in a little bit shallower, came back up. Uh, did another drift. This is a deep hole that's out here. Um, all this water is about 75 to 85 feet deep, and then it drops off here into the mid to upper 90s. Uh, this drift over here, we started coming back and drifting towards the deeper hole. We actually went into the hole just to see what was there, uh, came back up, and then you can see where we really started finding um, a concentration of fluke. Um, I did one drift. I wanted just to, uh, uh, on the incoming tide, just to see which, uh, how, if there was any fish out here. So I, I came back out, started up here in the hole, and we drifted down this entire length. I'm, I really don't like doing long drifts. Uh, the only time I ever do that is when I'm searching for a school of fish. And fluke will school up. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people think it's kind of, you know, you're just picking them off here and there. But fluke definitely school up. So I, I did this one long drift as like a search drift. We didn't catch anything here. We, I don't even think we got a bite. So I came back up 
and uh, we ended up staying up in here. And then as you can see, we just kept doing very small, tight drifts. Some of the drifts were only maybe 100 yards long. And um, we even got up here, and you can see how short the drifts were right off the end of this point. There was a bunch of fluke that were just hanging out right out in here uh, on the incoming. So, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. Um, just kind of wanted to give you a visual of, of how we were doing it. And, um, you know, just apply it to, uh, you can apply it to any sort of game fish you're after. But fluke-wise, this is what we were doing, and uh, this is where we caught them. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe I lied. Oh, that's a, that might be a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. Good job, Timmy! It's going to be real close. Yeah, that's a keeper. Slice and dice. Number one. They're all like right up there, it seems. Joey! Joey, you missed it? There's a lot of fish here. Yep. Yes, that's a good one. No? Huh? No. No? Fluke. Definitely a fluke. This looks like I'm a pole. Yeah, it's so deceiving. Shorty. It's like uh, 11, we get to 6 miles. Uh, Pretty one. Turns. They like that color. They do. Going south around uh, 1 p.m. Okay. We have northeast right now. Lip glue. Lip glue, I like it. There you go. They got their YouTube thing too. Nice, nice little lip glue action here. Yeah. Lip glue, put that on, let's see. Alright, let's see. Is that that juice? It's the juice. I'm using this. I'm using the same freaking rub this whole time. What is that stuff called? Lip glue. Lip glue. Got some guy. He does it in like his garage. Really? But I think he's grown it. Now he's like on, he has like a YouTube thing. Yeah. I think it's in Massachusetts. What'd you put? Some lip, lip slip on Joey's? Yeah. Yeah, they sell that too. <laughs> so you can buy them. It's a lot of money. When he went in there and he checked the wind, that's, that's <laughs> the Throw it on somebody else's Yeah, like, oh, lip slip. Like slip. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, just like skunk juice. <laughs> skunk, skunk cabbage juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh. That's a fish, Joey. Back for it. Oh, that one came off. Hit it twice. Definitely a fluke. Fish here. That was better than I, I was it? To take it? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna hit it again. He got always oh, on there. He's small. Is it? It's probably a small and juicy. Joey, come on, Joey. The big one. I missed the big one. The small one that was chasing it. The 
Oh, he got uh -oh. your tail. Oh, that's it. Reign. That's the end of it. Uh -oh. That's the, the end. One. It's the only one I had. Oh, isn't that suck? Happens. That's always how it happens. He used to have it in bass fishing gonna, all the time. He's gonna cut it right yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> one lure they want. They only have one. That's always the way it is. Every time. Every time. Oh, I found one. Oh, he found a whole bag. You look at this. <laughs> found more on the bottom. Those are the discontinued ones, huh? Sardines. 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 Who knows if it's the right package? Sometimes we'll put them in. The sardine, guys. Tim's got a new collar. That's his, uh, salmon. Yeah. Definitely working today. That was a one, Joey, I would switch colors completely. What you're doing isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys start catching fish over 20 inches, then I'll take Joey, we're getting way more bites than you. Yeah, I don't even know how many fish I've caught. At least, at least six or eight. Go and give the grass some. Oh my God, dude! Look at this guy, dude. That's a better one. No. no? Dude, what in God's creation is going on here? Uh oh. I got him. Uh oh. Ready? I don't know. It could. It hit it pretty hard. I was not ready, I can tell you. Oh no, it just came off. Came off. Two misses, you're rookies. <sighs> I felt better. Talking about long here. I just dropped it right next to the boat. Bang. Let's see if I can get them to come back. Maybe sometimes they come back. I either got a horrible hook set on him because I wasn't ready. Oh, he's back. Nope. That one really blasted it. Uh-oh, got an eye, eye popped out. Oh, no, that's my line guide. That was a better fish. Notice how Joey ran up there to put a mark? <laughs> I'm doing it for sea bass. No, that wasn't a sea bass. That was a boat cut. That was the old drop it right straight up and down next to the boat hit. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. That's why I wasn't ready. I wasn't expecting it at all. Got an awful hook set on it. Remember, we're going to get to the point in the tide where it's going to get good. It hasn't even been good yet. It's at the end of the tide, right? Last half hour. I stop fishing so Joey can catch up. Ooh! Oh! Ouch! Once you fill up that cooler, we need to take off. Oh, now it's once you fill it up. He hasn't even caught a short. I don't catch short. I don't want to catch a short. I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna somehow get it from next trip and edit out any shorts that, that I That was a good fish. Bit right here. See, Skinner got stopped by, uh... Fish police again. I, for the third time? They're on to him. Why do they keep stopping him? Well, it's so weird. I'm waiting for the one guy to actually make it funny and be like, hey, you ever see this YouTube video of this guy John Skinner? He's killing him out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fish here. I mean, every drift we're getting bit. That's, that's incredible. All right, so we're just gonna gently bounce, not ripping it high off the bottom. It's a nice light bounce, staying in control, keeping it in front of you, and waiting to feel that bite like that. Oh, that was a good one. Barely moving it. Oh my God, he ate it again. That one's picking it up. Look at that, look at that, did you see that? Oh my God, what is going on here? I'm 
bit yours? Yeah. Felt like a bigger fish. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Next Drift. We had a great day. A lot of laughs, a lot of fish. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any real big ones, but that's okay. We got to fish close to home. You know, there's something nice about fishing local once in a while. As the season starts to change, we're going to get into that fall feed. And we're planning on going over to the Big Fluke Grounds, where last year we caught numerous double digits. So I'm hoping that we get some great footage for you. I hope you learned something from this episode. We're going to leave you on a Joey fluke catch. He finally caught one towards the end of the day. Joey always ends up coming uh, coming in late, and uh, but he always usually catches the big ones. As always, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate you watching. Take care, everybody.